We rely on products from a crude oil refinery to go about our daily lives. They enable us to drive and to fly, and we also use them for other purposes. From computers to medicines, there are a lot of things we would miss without crude oil processing. The crude comes via a pipeline. To be able to use it in everyday applications, it has to be processed. There are different methods depending on the end product. Distillation, cracking, desulfurization, and refining. By undergoing a distillation process, the crude is broken down into its components. The hydrocarbon molecules can then be put back together in a different way. For example, for liquid gas, gasoline, diesel, or heating oil. With cracking, the large chains of hydrocarbon molecules are used to make smaller chains. Heat, or a catalyst, is applied to produce components that are used as additives for gasoline, diesel, and petrochemicals. The sulfur in the crude is bound with the help of hydrogen and a catalyst. During the subsequent combustion of gasoline, diesel, or kerosene, sulfur dioxide, a pollutant, is then prevented from being released. Modern engines require fuels with a high octane rating. The higher this rating, the better the combustion quality. The octane level of pure naphtha is too low, but chemical processes change the molecular structure of the gasoline to increase its rating. Basically, a refinery is a gigantic laboratory where crude oil is broken down to its components. Environmentally harmful elements are then removed and when the pieces are put back together, you get more efficient products that are more environmentally friendly.